first brush I'll show you is the Ruby Kisses tapered eyeshadow brush and the good thing about um, this particular um, brush set is that it comes with the name on the brush so as you can see this brush is really flexible it moves so it will help us when we need to sweep products around do our swiper swiper motions uh, and disperse and diffuse this is a C curve eyeshadow brush it's written on the handle as well this is a very stiff brush all of the bristles are packed together so tightly that it barely moves so this will be the type of brush when we really want to do that kind of pat a rub motion in order to make the product stay just where we put it and be very pigmented and lastly this is the large eyeshadow brush again written on the handle by Ruby Kisses and this has a little bit more movement than the C curve eyeshadow brush so this is um, one that we can use to cover a little bit more area compared to the C curve it is much larger the bristles are a bit longer but still not quite as floppy and movable as the um, tapered brush okay so this is what we can use to carve cover a lot of area on the eye we can also use our finger this is also very stiff if we want to place products down the palette that we'll be using today is the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's. You do not have to use this palette. This is just one that I have that I know I can work out of um, in order to complete this look here. All right, y'all, so I have you right up on my eyeball so that you can really see what's going on hopefully um this is the look that we're going for here really simple ombre gold smoky pretty much will look good on everybody right i already showed you your brushes and your palette that we're going to be using um, but I'll also describe the colors a little bit for you so that way um, you don't necessarily have to have this palette in order to complete this look. So while I'm talking, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of my eyeshadow helpers and that is the Milani eyeshadow primer. It's lightweight, um, practically colorless and I'm just going to take a very very small amount of this on my finger because remember our fingers can help us okay it ain't got to be all fancy and whatnot so i'm just going to place that on my eyelid anywhere um where the eyelid you know will move um that folds or anything like that underneath as well and this is going to help our eyeshadow to um, have something um, to which um, to adhere um, it gives us a kind of sticky surface so that the eyeshadow stay up now and don't fly off your eyeball before you make it to the corridor okay so first brush we're going to start with um, and that's going to be um, our tapered eyeshadow brush the one that moves so it doesn't have to be this brush but this is a very affordable option um, and it gets the job done and it moves very long bristles and they move so we're going to start off with Madagascar here's Madagascar in case you need to see it um, and this is a very what I would call ashy brown color it's not you know a very warm color it's just going to get the powder started on the eye so I'm going to feel here where my eye starts to go into the socket and that's where I want to place this matte brown shade so if you have a palette that has a matte brown shade in it meaning there's no shimmer in the eyeshadow 
It could even be your face powder. That would work perfectly fine as well. And that's what we're going to put right here using sweeping motions. I'm not pressing very hard so you don't see the brush bending like that. I'm just using the very tip of the brush and working back and forth motions following that curve. Now I'm going to go into Morocco. I love to use very warm orange shades for my skin tone um in the crease it just works for me chat it just works um now you also want to consider um something that you know suits your skin tone so if you're more fair skin than me you may want to take it to a tan brown rather than um that more um sandy brown that i use and maybe you don't want a deep um rust orange color um, maybe you just want to use um, even a coral or something of that nature. Just something to give us a little life. So I placed that brown here. You can barely see it because on purpose it's the color of you know my skin on my eye. I'm going to go up just a little bit. Now this is the same brush because we have the same purpose here which is to sweep the color. That's what we do in the crease. Because I want this to show up a little bit more pigmented. I'm going to do some tapping motions first, grab a little bit more color, tapping motions, and then I'm going to go around the perimeter here and do my little sweeping motions. Some people like to add some little tiny circular motions in there and that's perfectly fine because it will help us to just distribute this color around the eye. And it's just a wash of color. That's why we use the more fluffy brushes to give us a wash of color. Really, really natural. Blending everything out. Really diffused look. Okay? This will be our last matte shade before we get to the shimmer, the fun part. And that is the shade Kenya. Kenya is a very chocolate um, dark chocolate shade and it is matte as well so in order to give our eye a little bit of depth like what we see here we're going to pat that shade on to the very outer corner of the eye okay very outer corner and when we pat that means we want it to really stay there okay that's where we want to concentrate the color and now I'm just going to very gently sweep that Kenya chocolate brown shade inward just a little bit so that we don't get a really harsh look here. Now, before we move on to the shimmer shades, let's just go ahead and pay uh, the bottom lash line a little bit of attention. So I'll go into Morocco, my burnt orange, look up and blend a little bit of that down here, right? And then I'm going to go into Kenya and keep that just on the outer portion here. Okay. Now what this does is that we're starting to deepen the outer portion. And now we're going to brighten the inner portion of the eye. So it tells people where to look right here. <laughs> All right. So another way to help your eyeshadows look more pigmented other than um, primers and things of that nature that I mentioned in my Why Your Eyeshadow Ain't Popping video um, is moisture. I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Makeup Lock and Seal and I'm just going to put a few drops of that on my C-Curve eyeshadow brush. So that was just like three tiny drops. So now the bristles are moistened and that is only a trick we want to use for our shimmery eyeshadows because it gives them a more creamy texture and helps them to look so vibrant on the eye. So we're going to start here with this shade Zuri and we're just going to press into the palette to pick up this shade just like so. So press kind of like a rubbing motion and that's similarly to how we're going to apply it to the eye. So I'm keeping that here in the inner 
corner of the eye. I'm going to close my eye because I don't want that elf lock and seal or eyeshadow in my eye. Okay. So I'm just going to start that press. Kind of swipe just a tiny bit. We're not sweeping all over. But just kind of like a patting rubbing motion. Right. I'm going to put a little bit here underneath. And we're just going to go over just a little bit past where we want that to stop. Okay. I'm going to take my large eyeshadow brush. Add a few drops of the e.l.f. makeup uh, lock and seal to it as well. Help distribute that through the bristles. And now we're going to go in um, and start the ombre in process. Okay. So we're going to go light all the way to dark. So the next darkest gold shade is here. Nairobi. Down into the palette. That's it. Okay. And on that one side of my brush, I'm going to close the eye again. And not too tight to where it creates extra folds in the eye. Okay. So I'm patting. And as I'm patting, I'm overlapping slightly with that Zuri um, kind of champagne gold shade so that um, it starts the blending process for me. So I don't have to do a lot of rubbing around and all that. Just pat. Okay. So I've patted that on. Overlapping here. And then going a little bit past where um, I want the color to actually end. The next uh, deepest gold shade is Nefertiti right here. So we're going to take Nefertiti on the other side of the brush. Ain't no sense in using all them brushes if you don't want to. Now we're going to go right along here where that color began to fade out. The previous color began to fade out. And we're just going to pat. And I may need a little bit more on my brush there. So I'm just going to pat that on. A like so. Got it? Alright, now. Whatever is left on this brush, I'm going to take the, uh, the first side with the Nairobi on it. And just kind of sweep underneath. we pretty much want that same ombre effect on the bottom um, as well. Just a little bit of Nefertiti underneath there. Okay. And then we're going to take our blending brush. And now we're just going to go around the perimeter of those shimmer shades. So not all the way into them. Just around with those back and forth sweeping motions so that way we can make sure there isn't any harshness between the shimmer and the mattes and I'm also going to take a little bit more of Kenya that deep dark chocolate shade and go right here to make sure that that gold has a nice transition into the matte shade and whatever is left on this small C curve brush with the Zuri, we're just going to put a tad underneath the brow here. And notice I'm just going underneath the highest part. I'm going to use my finger to blend so that way it's not shimmer all the way there, but just the highest point. Going over top of these moistened eyeshadows with a little bit of dry eyeshadow is going to help it pop like this eye. So I'm going with Zuri on one finger, pat over there, look how that pops. Ooh. Then I'm going to take the middle one, going into Nairobi, that really yellow gold, and make sure I'm just patting, patting to help that pop. Look at that, yes honey, yeah. Even on the bottom if you want. And then um, different finger ring finger going into Nairobi just a little bit I'm just patting if you're good with eyeliner go in with some liquid eyeliner like I did here don't mean I'm good at it I just do it um <laughs> if not I would suggest just leaving out the liner altogether and putting a little 
mascara. Yes. All right. And this is the look. This is it. Really simple. Um, you can use whatever shadows you have. If you've got a palette with some golds in there, go on and use it, girl. And also, you can ombre any colors on the lid from lightest to darkest. It can be matte shades or it can be shimmery shades um, from inner to outer, light to dark. Alright, thank you all so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you are excited about these step-by-step um, -step eyeshadow um, talk through videos. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, Shadow.